Okay, we're gonna do another replacement rule here. This time it's DeMorgan's. Good rule. Every time I see an opportunity to DeMorgan's, I like doing it because it almost always gives me something uh, to do to move the problem forward that I didn't have before. Now, like the other replacement rules, if you have something of this pattern, you can replace it with this or vice versa. There's actually two versions of DeMorgan's. You can replace this pattern with that or this with this. Perhaps something to look at and to notice, uh, if you start off with a negated conjunction, you end up with a disjunction. So you're going from ampersand to wedge or wedge to ampersand. And if you start off with a negated thing in parentheses, you lose the parentheses, and vice versa in both cases. The thing really to do is just kind of look at the argument, have this in front of you the first few times, and if you see a DeMorgan's pattern, you know, give it a go. And let's see how it might work. I'm going to do this slowly. Let's come up with an argument. Okay, fairly short argument, two premises. I can see that I would love to do a modus ponens on line two in order to get the B. If I can get an A, I'm done. So I'd love to get an A, and I bet I can get one some way, somehow here. I'm noticing line one does fit the De Morgan's pattern. It fits this one right here, actually, because we have a negated thing in parentheses, a negated disjunction. In this case, tilde A is an instance of P, M is an instance of Q. So it does fit the pattern which means if I want to, I can replace line one with that thing here, something of that pattern. And let's see what that would look like. That would be De Morgan's on line one. And what's really cool about this is I've now got a conjunction. I can pull the parts out. I can work with the tilde, tilde A, do a com, work with the M. I love conjunctions so I can break these things into smaller parts. But pretty clearly what I'm looking for is the tilde, tilde A. So let's pull that out using simplification. I'm getting closer and closer to that A I was looking for. Now tilde, tilde A is not the same thing as A. But I can use double negation because these two tildes are touching each other. So I can take them out and replace it, line four, with a double negation. Be line four. Now I can do the modus ponens and finish this up. That would be modus ponens, two, five. So if you see an opportunity to use DeMorgan's, I'd give it a try. It almost always will give you something you can work with. It'll help you out.